it's Robin again. Uh, like you didn't know. If you're watching, you know who I am. Uh, and welcome to my life. This morning I am dropping off some packages at the post office. And then I'm gonna drop off some hard seltzers at my girlfriend's house. We've been enjoying the Truly seltzers. I'll put them here. Um, so far I've enjoyed the mango lemonade and the strawberry lemonade. They've been like a nice light thing to enjoy in the evening while winding down. So highly recommend. They taste pretty good and they're sweetened with stevia so they're only like 100 calories one gram of carbs and 5% alcohol. Today is day three of school and I will be doing my intro to psych class so I think I'm gonna be busy pretty much all day long. Later on today I'm going to be planting some basil cuttings. I had a pretty enormous basil plant. Uh, those of you who have grown basil and grown it well know that it can just like explode and take over. Uh, so I decided to cut some shoots off and propagate them in my home. And then I'm going to go ahead and plant them. And some of them are gonna go into my husband's classroom so that his students can water them and grow the basil and It'll be a cool experience for them because they can then like rub the basil leaves and smell the oils and recognize it from food that they might eat. So I will record that and show you guys what that looks like and how I do it so that you can maybe do it yourself if you want. Really, the basil plant that I got, I think I spent like $3 on it at Lowe's. Since then, I've had completely fresh basil the entire summer. So it did take about a month or so to establish. So I got it and planted it and waited for it to grow large enough where I felt comfortable taking leaves off of it. But once I was there, I was able to just pluck leaves off whenever I needed them um, instead of either having to buy fresh basil or use dried basil. I'm gonna block that sun there for you. <laughs> Question of the day today is what podcasts do you guys like to listen to? I typically listen to a podcast while I'm here in the car and for the last couple of years I've mostly been listening to true crime, true crime podcasts much like many of you I'm sure. So I started off with My Favorite Murder, and then I moved into Wine and Crime, um, or there's another one. This is Why We Drink, and it's like true crime slash supernatural stuff, uh, and that one's pretty cool. I recommend all three of those, but if you're new to podcasts and you don't really know what they're about, um, you may not want to start with one about murder. I think a good starter podcast would be like This American Life or Freakonomics. I listened to those for years, years and years and years and years. Probably since high school, to be honest. Um, I've been listening to podcasts pretty diligently since my son was born, my first son, so eight years ago. But before that, it was kind of like off and on whenever I needed something to listen to. Uh, since I was in high school, so for those of you who want to do math, <laughs> that was 15 years ago? Ugh. You know, you don't realize that you're grown or an adult until you start saying things like, Oh yeah, when I was in high school, 15 years ago. Yeah, so I want to know what podcasts you guys listen to. What kinds of things do you like to hear people groan on about? <laughs> I, I like to listen to the things, especially in my car when my husband's not listening. I like to listen to the things 
that I might be a little embarrassed about listening to uh, in front of people. And uh, murder is certainly one of those things. He does not like talking about that. everybody and hello again. We are getting ready to put our basil propagations, our cuttings, into some dirt so that we can help them establish their root systems. And I want to show you a couple things before we get started on actually planting them. So this particular cutting is a really good example to show you what parts of the stems actually grow roots. So you can see here that there are one, two, three, four, five nodes on the stem where there are roots coming out. Those are growth nodes and when you're making your cutting you want to cut just below one of those nodes and then you let these stems sit in water. I have these mason jars here and I typically want one or two nodes to be underwater so we can establish some roots before we transfer them into soil. So that's what mine look like right now. I, I can even let these go in the water for a little bit longer, maybe even another week. But I wanted to transplant them so that we could get them to my husband's school. So it's super duper easy. After you've cut your basil and you let it sit in the water, for as long as it takes for those roots to appear. You want to get some pots with some potting soil in them. And I filled, this is just basic potting soil, I filled it up to the lip inside of the terracotta pots. These are nothing special, they just have a hole in the bottom and then a tray down in the bottom. And I'm going to make a little hole in the center. Get my basil stem plant it in there, and then help it be stable by pressing the dirt down and around. Not too hard, but firm enough that the basil plant has some place to stand and can stand up on its own. It's a little off center. Okay, so one. I got four, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for four. But I think I do. Probably easier when you have two hands, so you know, not necessarily a toddler in the lap kind of project. Okay, we've got three in this pot. Oh, here we go, yeah, I've got one here with some roots. Sometimes when you're doing propagation and you're doing a cutting of a plant, people recommend putting some sort of like growth hormone on the stem before you plant it or before you start propagating uh, or letting it sprout in the water. I didn't do that with basil because basil is really good at sprouting its own roots without much um, interference. This last one, I had my son, my my eight-year-old, helping me out with doing the cuttings, and I think I don't know if this one's going to work out. Mm -hmm. 
So he did a cutting and he did get the grip nodes there, but he cut it right below a junction. And there are some roots coming out of the side of it, so I'm just going to let it keep going in the water um, and we'll see what happens. Also, side note, when you're leaving them in the water, you're going to want to replace the water every two days or so, so that the water doesn't get old and yucky. And I typically like to keep my cuttings in sunlight so that they can get all of the things that they need. So here we go. We've got all four of our cuttings. I'm going to have four new basil plants. And we like basil in this house. We are an Italian family. I'm going to water. Keep it nice and moist. And in my experience here in Texas, basil enjoys sun, but because it's such a tender leaf plant, too much sun can definitely burn it. You can see on um, this one, this leaf that was outside definitely got burned. Same thing with this one right here. Uh, so once these get a little more established, I'll probably take those leaves off. But we don't want our, our basil to get burned like that in the sun, so try to be aware of it and if it's in too much sunlight just take it out all right that's pretty much it guys hope this was helpful um and i will as they grow up maybe give you some updates so that you guys can see how easy it is to grow and establish new basil plants all done Come on. let's put this chair away well done chair <laughs>